Country. I'm Holly and today we have another beautiful farmhouse home tour to share today. I'm so excited because my friend Allison from Hester's Homestead not only has a beautiful gorgeous exterior home but she also has a beautiful interior and she just has so many design tips and affordable home decor inspiration on her Instagram account so I will link that down below so you guys can get even more inspiration from her but I just am in love with her home she has antiques inside and just the whole home is just so inspiring and is just goals so I'm so excited to have her here today and on the channel to inspire you all too now you all know that I love sharing at the beginning of these home tours products I love home decor I love or even ways to save on home decor so I'm so excited today to be partnering with shop tagger for the beginning portion of today's video and shop tagger is a Google Chrome extension that not only helps you save money but it also gives you cash back so I'm gonna take you guys to my computer share with you guys how you guys could be saving on your home decor and getting money back and let's go ahead and go to the office before our home door starts so you guys can find out ways to save too I started using shop tagger for our daughter's bedroom makeover which you guys will be seeing in the next few weeks to come one of the things that I love about shop tagger is it alerts you when items go on sale it's super easy to use and free which is a huge bonus and all you have to do is download it and install it to your browser button and then when you're shopping and you find a product you want to save to your account all you have to do is hit that shop tagger button you can choose when you want to be alerted for sale percentages and colors and sizes if that does apply and when a product is back in stock or on sale shop tagger actually emails you letting you know if you download the shop tagger app on your phone you can actually get push notification emails as well ShopTagger also lets you organize your saved items and has a section for coupon codes for even more savings. You really have nothing to lose when downloading ShopTagger. It's free to use. It's going to save you a ton of money and I'm excited for it to save me a lot of money in my daughter's bedroom makeover. I do have a link in the description box down below if you guys want to try it out too. Hi guys, my name is Allison and I'm going to give you a farmhouse tour today. This is our new farmhouse we've been here for about two years i've always wanted a white or just a siding house that i could paint and it looks like an old farmhouse and i feel like with this house plan we were able to accomplish that we live on about 16 acres i'll show you some of our property just from the house we have a pretty long driveway um, that row of trees down there is actually a creek bed our kids like to play in that. Um, on the other side of our driveway is a big crop field um, past the woods. And then there's another big creek down there that we like to ride ATVs in. We like to go fishing, go cool off. It's a great property to raise our boys on. Um, we're very thankful. And um, it's definitely a lot of work too, but it's been a lot of fun. So. I'm going to walk you around the side of the house and kind of take you in the back door, which is where all of my friends and family enter from. That's Ruby on the porch. She um, loves to hang out on the porch. Anytime we're outside, she wants to be right beside us. Um, and just getting some shade. Look at her. Hi, Ruby. Say hi. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. So I'm pretty proud of my cactus um, in my wheelbarrow. <laughs> I'll show you that. And then I'll just walk you around. This is our backyard over here and we are hoping to get a pool one day. So we've got some flags up in the yard. Um, and then this is our back porch. This is probably my favorite place to hang out. The boys have been back here eating snacks, watching TV. You can see they've been riding their bikes today. Um, but my dad and I built this swing together and we use it all the time. The fans really help back here. It's just cooler. Um, it's a great place to hang out. So I will take you guys in the same um, door that my friends and family enter from and that is this room, this door here to my mud room. So this is my mud room. You can't really see it, so I'll come in here and turn around for you. Um, you actually, when you enter my house, 
you enter the dining and kitchen first. But let me turn around and show you the mudroom really quick. Okay, so there it is. It's pretty simple, but it definitely serves a purpose. We have tons of shoes in this family, <laughs> and we just kind of dump our stuff here. Um, we have a nice little closet to hide things to, and um, it is well used, that's for sure. And then I showed you guys already kind of the entire great room, but I'll just do it again slowly so you can get a feel for it. The living room. There is a small office um, on the right door back there. And then this left door here is to my master bedroom. So those are both off of the, the living. Um, we did do transoms over all of the doors. That door there is to our basement, the one with the light on. Um, we did transoms over all of our doors in the main living area. So that's the pantry on the left right there, um, connected with our kitchen. I'll try to scoot back and give you guys the best view that I possibly can. So our kitchen um, is pretty simple. White cabinets, white lowers, a white island, white countertops, white subway tile. You guys get the idea. Um, but we took the cabinets all the way to the ceiling. That's something that I really wanted to try and do if we built a house. Um, and then we wrapped our trim, our crown molding that we have in the rest of the house around our cabinet. So it really did give it a built-in look. And I like how it turned out. Our island is really big and all those doors down there have storage. So, um, and then the pantry of course has storage. I would show it to you guys, but I'm pretty sure it would, there would be stuff falling off the shelves and it would scare you. So. Um, <laughs> just keeping it real. We have um, lots of untidy places, even though I did try to tidy up for you guys. So the dining room, we did not do a formal dining room. This is the only dining room we have. Um, the kitchen table expands though, so it works. Let me scoot back a little more and give you a view from the living room, what this big great room looks like. So there's the fireplace, dining and kitchen. Everything happens right here, guys. And then here is the other um, back door that you can take outside. Hope that you all can see everything. And then of course my entry from the front door is right there. Um, if you go to my entry, there's a bathroom on the left and the laundry room on the right. It's a half bath for our guest. All right, let's go check out the um, master bedroom and bathroom now that we've had a good look at the kitchen. I'll stop on the way and just brag on my adorable little vintage bird prints that were my grandmother's. Um, I've had these in almost all of my houses that I've owned. They just keep on showing up in every house. I just love them that much. Um, but they were my grandmother's and I really love to decorate with things that are from family or that remind me of family or just special occasions, trips, things like that. All right, so here is our master bedroom. The bed is a custom made bed. Um, we did not have one when we got married. Um, so my uncle decided to give us money to have one built. So we'll probably have this bed forever <laughs> because it's kind of special now. Um, we did board and batten all the way to the ceiling and it's a pretty simple layout. We do have a chest of drawers in here. Um, we don't really use it other than putting our TV on it and storing some Christmas stuff. We really put everything in our um, closet. Okay, and then here's the master bath. I have the lights on in here for you so you can see, but this is my husband's vanity. Um, he said they have too much junk, and so he wanted his own vanity, which is completely true. And then my vanity. Have another little vintage rug in here. Guys, I just love vintage rugs. Um, vintage rugs, plants, those are my two things that I just couldn't decorate without anymore. Um, I've been fortunate enough to get a few of them from a friend of mine that sells rugs, um, and they really change the look of a space. 
At least they have in my house. So, this is our farmhouse. I'll talk to you about a couple of my favorite things in the farmhouse, and then I think our tour is almost complete. So, one of my favorite things is another vintage drug. This one is really special though. So, um, when I went with my family to Scotland a couple of years ago, this rug was at an antique mall and I just kind of fell in love with it and I had not built the house yet. We were in the process of building and I just could see it in this space. I thought this rug would go in my kitchen and just be so special there. Um, so I bought it <laughs> and I brought it back to our little, we were staying in like a small castle with about, there's about 18 of us staying together. Um, and you know, I was just shopping with the girls. My husband wasn't there. So I packed that thing in a suitcase while my husband was asleep, taking a nap back home at the castle. So brought it home and the rest is history. It looks great in my kitchen and I get to remember our trip to Scotland every single time I step on it and cook and clean and all that good stuff. Um, my husband really wanted that pot filler. Um, I wasn't one way, I really didn't care, but you guys, the best thing about it is I fill up my coffee pot every day with it and it is a life changer. I know that's not super cute, but it's the most functional thing ever. You gotta have a balance, right? All right, and then let's see, this bench is pretty special too. So my cousin, it actually belonged to her and um, she used to live in Nashville. Um, I live north of Nashville and she wanted a bench, a, a, an old antique bench. And so I found it actually when I was thrifting and she said, yes, get it for me. That's the one I want. Um, but she recently moved to Scotland and she said, Hey, Allison, do you want anything from my house? We can't take it with us. And I was like, uh, yeah, I want that bench. <laughs> so I got it back and I just love it. It works perfectly here, especially if we have to extend the dining table and have more guests, we can stick lots of little kids on this bench and it works well. All right, so here's just one more look at our mud room, another vintage rug. It's just kind of my jam. I really, really love mixing old and new. Um, thrifting, I love Facebook Marketplace. Guys, I can't tell you how many things I bought on Facebook Marketplace. Um, this light here is from there, um, the pendant. And this standing light is from there. This little stool right here is from there. I mean, I could walk around my house and literally point out dozens and dozens, dozens of things that I got really cheap on Marketplace or I thrifted or um, open box sales and things like that. So I'm really into just decorating, um, decorating thing with things I like, but on a, on a budget, not going crazy. So here's just one more look. I'll show you the mudroom again. and living room. The entry and our staircase. And our kitchen. Guys, I appreciate you being here for our tour. I hope I didn't um, like mess with you with my camera skills because they're really not good at all. <laughs> but thank you again for um, for joining me today. A big thank you to Allison for sharing her beautiful home today. I will see you guys later on Living at Country. Bye.